Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 things you'll never buy once you know what they're made of. We buy products every day. They're all supposed to state their ingredients on the back, but they don't need to list everything they do. So it may surprise you to find that there's some nasty, shocking and just plain ridiculous stuff in your favourite products. And who knows, maybe you'll think twice about buying them after hearing these facts. Before we get into it, be sure to subscribe to Little Things for more amazing videos daily. Also subscribe and hit the bell for top 10s and comment done when you've done this for a shout out at the end of our next video. Coming in at number 10, we have hot dogs. Aside from burgers, hot dogs are one of the most popular fast foods in the world. You may assume they're 100% pork, as they're a form of sausage. Sure, they're packed with preservatives and flavorings as well as pork, which isn't good in the first place. But what will really make your stomach turn is what the shiny hot dog casings are made of. They're made of animal intestines, which is why they're so shiny. Not only that, the pork inside the sausages are made from lousy bits of pig, like the snout, tail, and eyes. Ah, ignorance sure is bliss when it comes to hot dogs. Too bad I took that away from you though, sorry. Next up is macaroni and cheese. When you think of mac and cheese, you may think of a home-cooked meal your mom may make. Or maybe something you ate a lot when you had no money in college. But there is some controversy around this seemingly innocent food. And that's about the food colorings. Dyes named yellow 5 and yellow 6 are used to turn mac and cheese less orange and more yellow. The reason why these are controversial is because they're derived from oil and petroleum. Some countries have even banned the colorings as they're deemed not safe, but America has not yet caught on. Don't be surprised if mac and cheese isn't around in a few years. Next up we have gummy bears. As kids, we likely all ate these. And hey, I know some of you adults still eat these too. Gummy bears are great, but how they're made is not. You may think it's just a bunch of sugar, but they're actually made of the skins and insides of animals. And they've also been known to be made with things like pig snouts and horse hooves. This is a really weird fact which seems too nasty to be true, but sorry, that's the harsh gummy reality. Next up is potato chips. Potato chips are one of the best snacks in the world. They're made of potatoes, but they also have one alarming chemical ingredient. Sodium bisulfate is often found in antifungal products and potato chips. The reason why they use it is to stop bacteria spread. But what's scary is the FDA has prohibited it being used in any other food but potato chips, deeming it unsafe. And they say it's only safe to eat a small amount on potato chips. Watch out next time you bite into a potato chip. Coming up next is cheese. With thousands of different varieties and styles, we likely all like at least one kind of cheese. But there is one scary factor about all cheese types, and that's an ingredient. Rennet is an enzyme used in cheese to separate the milk from the curds, making it into cheese. But where does this enzyme come from? Well, it's actually from the fourth stomach of a baby cow. This is one creepy ingredient found in cheese. If you're really grossed out and want to avoid this, look for a kosher label on your cheese, as kosher meat and cheese cannot be mixed. It ain't easy being cheesy. Next up is red foods. Ever eaten a food or drink with red dye in it? I bet you have, but perhaps that was a mistake. The reason why is because these dyes have been known to make kids have allergic reactions or become hyperactive. Not only that, they're made of crushed red bugs. Farmers in countries like Peru crush thousands of these small red bugs to make the dye we eat every day. But I bet you never knew you were drinking bugs when you were sipping on that bright red cocktail. Hmm, I guess that's what they mean when they say natural dye. Next up is processed breads and pies. We all know these foods aren't good for us, but a lot of people still buy them. However, one ingredient may make you reconsider your purchases. L-cysteine is a dough container used to mold dough easier. Seems innocent enough, but what's it made of? Well, the answer to that would be human hair. This is the main ingredient of L-cysteine in many countries like China. In America, it is usually duck's feathers, but some manufacturers still use human hair. Next up is ground beef. We all know ground beef is beef which has been, well, ground up. But there's a little extra thing producers add into ground beef. That is pink slime. This is all the fat from the beef which is melted down into a slime and is added into the beef to make it seem like you're getting more. This went viral on the news a year back and since then many stores and restaurants have promised to stop using pink slime patties. Even so, this is one nasty and surprising fact I sure didn't know. Did you know you've been tucking into slime burgers all these years? Next up is Red Bull. If you need to pull an all-nighter or kickstart your day, Red Bull works great. 
it has a very distinctive flavor which can't be tasted anywhere else. So what exactly is in Red Bull? Well there's a lot of chemicals and flavorings, but this one is actually more of a good thing which is in your favorite products. There's a well-known rumor that Bull's fluids are included in Red Bull, but this is in fact not true. Really, it comes from a lab and is not extracted from any animal. And another surprising thing about Red Bull is the animals on the cans are not bulls at all, but Indian bison. Coming up next is calamari. Calamari is made of squid most of the time, but a lot of the time, to save money, companies use pig butts instead of squid. It tastes similar once it's been breaded, fried, and dunked in a hefty dosing of Mariana sauce. But pig butt calamari is surprisingly common, even in restaurants near the sea. The best way to tell the difference is all about the price. If it's insanely cheap, then it's likely a pig's backside. Other than that, you're probably eating squid, and you can rest easy. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you can vote for the most surprising thing you'll never buy again. I think it's the calamari because that is gross! This video shoutout goes to Mabel Pines. Subscribe and turn on notifications and comment done for a shoutout in the next video. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe!